Okay guys, I just got this Makita compressor. I've been putting it off for a while because my other one got flooded in Hurricane Ian. And this is the MAC100Q Quiet Series, as you can see here, which meant a lot to me just because it's nice to be uh, purring along. And I basically use in this tool, I'm using a stapler, a small stapler. Now, what I love about this thing, it is really actually, I hate to say it, it sounds really corny, but this thing is like cute. It's like, a uh, very nice little compact unit with a well-protected little cage, a um, little place to wrap your cord. And I'm a big Makita fan, as you can see over here. I got my Makita 18 volt trimmers and drills and vibrating saws and stuff. But I love this little thing. Um, I've just had it a short while, but let me just give you an idea how big this thing really is. Hang on, I gotta pull out my tape measure. Okay, so look at this thing. Width-wise, it's like about 14 inches. Height-wise, it's like 12 inches or less. 11 and, a, 11 and a half inches, sorry. I couldn't see there for a second. Nice little rubber pads on the bottom for vibration. And what a nice little unit. I mean, it's compact. All tidied up, easy grab handle. Man, I'm impressed. Beautifully designed. It just looks well made and it feels sturdy. Now here's the beauty of this thing look at this purr i mean that's you know 58 decibels i believe it because it's just such a beautiful little uh thing in terms of its quietness now i also grabbed this little 50 foot hose i don't know you know much about hoses but sometimes they can be a pain this one's actually pretty friendly um i got the quarter of uh, quick fit fittings and so forth uh, let me back this off so it turns off sooner than later I think or no I guess it's gonna build up the volume so you got your dial obviously to adjust your pressure I'm only and um, I haven't had one for a couple of years now compressor just because I've been putting it off don't want to clutter the garage didn't really need it if you do have if you got really flabby arms and stuff like that don't buy one of these to fill up your car tires use the bicycle pump because it takes about 140 pumps to get five pounds in a car tire so you're gonna have some killer tries triceps so anyway um i was doing that for two years and actually it is a good workout but so i also picked up this gauge that shows you the pressure right away i really like that too it's got a quick connect tip on it which you just slide on and it bites it instead of trying to screw on it or something which i like that so this quick connects to my little makita compressor and bang my 50 foot hose all of these links will be down below. You know, I only recommend things I like or love, usually love. Um, and I love this little thing. And the hose has been great. Not really, doesn't drive you nuts winding up. And I'm in a little bit, but you know, that's to be expected. But it's nice and compact. It's a smaller hose. You can see here's my pinky. So it is a smaller hose. And then this thing's working, working good too. And actually it seems to be quite accurate because I tested it with two other gauges that I've had for years and it seems to be dead on. So that's my summary on this thing. Go for it if you need one of these things. Compact, yes. Quiet, yes. Beautifully built, yes. I'm a big fan. Uh, again, link down below to all three of these items, the gauge, the hose, and the compressor. I'll talk to you guys later. Again, appreciate your likes and subscribes. Take care.